Tonight, more than a year after suffering a traumatic brain injury, Hilliard Middle Senior High School's former quarterback is able to tell his story in his own words. Oh, gosh. The brain bleeds almost killed me. His story is one that could be described as hard knocked. A star athlete that went from fighting to win a game to fighting for his life. Only on News for Jacks, Nathan Dowie is speaking with reporter Zach Lajway about that August night last year that ended his football dreams and the one conversation that could have changed everything. Hey, baby, Jason. That's two points, Tim. Talking is not always easy. Thanks. I can whisper really good, actually. But for the first time in a long time, Nathan Dowie is able to speak and breathe on his own. Oh, gosh. It's been a roller coaster, man. The 2020 graduate almost died twice. Oh, man. Almost. To date, Dowie is up to more than a handful of surgeries. I wasn't really scared. I was confused as to why I was feeling the way I was. I was like, concussions really ain't this bad. But the reality was Dowie had more than a concussion. He had sustained a traumatic brain injury. It was, the, it was my first game of my senior year. I really wanted to play it. It was August 23rd, 2019. Friday Night Lights, season opener. Dowie was Hilliard Middle Senior High School star quarterback. Your leader, the strongest player on your team. And team captain. I did not want to sit that one out. Dowie scored this touchdown in the second quarter. Like I did the front flip mm -hmm. into the end zone. Mm -hmm. That made it worse. It also made worse the fact Dowie had a secret. Well, I'm pretty sure I already had a slight concussion just from practice. Mm -hmm. I, just, I was just ignoring it because, I mean, I'm the quarterback. Mm -hmm. I got to be tough. And tough he was. Dowie played the fourth. When I got tackled from behind and the ball slipped out of me and went forward and the dude picked it and he fell on top of me, he fell all on my head. After the game, Dowie left the field immediately. I got my shoulder pads off. And I leaned over the trash can that was in there and threw up. And I sat back up straight, and next thing I know, I'm falling back, passing out. The 18-year-old underwent emergency surgery for two brain bleeds. His family was in disbelief. Seems surreal. Yeah. A nightmare. Nightmare, yes. Were you scared? I was, I was crying, very scared. Dowie says that month that followed, he does not remember. And his first memory was one of struggle. It was hard to breathe, couldn't catch my breath. I was breathing oxygen, it wasn't doing nothing. On top of his traumatic brain injury, Dowie was experiencing tracheal stenosis, scar tissue in his windpipe. It was just closing after every surgery that I would get. Dowie was scheduled to have a procedure to fix the complication. But then the pandemic hit. I think it was like six months I wasn't able to talk. It was hard. And that was it. Dowie's high school football career was over. His first and only game senior year was his last. Looking back, would you have done anything different? Uh, this is the first time I've actually been asked this. And uh, if I could go back, I probably would have ended up sitting out the fourth quarter at least. Off the field and out of the classroom, Dowie finished his senior year learning via hospital homebound. At the time, there was a lot of dialogue about concussions. Yes. Obviously, your case contributed to the conversation that was happening here in Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia. Is there anything that you would like to add to that conversation now, today? Uh, the helmets are good, and you can stay safe easily. You just got to be honest with your coach. You said earlier you would like to coach, whether mm -hmm. that be Pee Wee High School, Will this change you as a person and a coach? Yes, sir, it will. I'd tell players to take it seriously. Not the senior year he hoped for. Dowie says he learned a lesson the hard way. I have sure as heck learned some patience with this, all these things I've gone through, all the time I've had to wait. Dowie recently started working two weeks ago. His next surgery is scheduled for October. He will receive a larger stint. This will allow him to talk and breathe more easily. He says he hopes by January all the medical equipment will be history and he will be speaking and breathing on his own. And I'll tell you, Tom and Mary, his perseverance is absolutely contagious.
Just incredible story, Zach. And I know you covered the story when the injury first happened, so you have great perspective on not only what it did to him personally, but also to the community. Yeah, this happened on a Friday night. I was there that weekend in the days that followed. I remember talking with students and parents at the time. Everyone was concerned, and those emotions stretched beyond the Hilliard community, proving football in small towns brings people together. Zach, thank you, and thank you to this remarkable mm -hmm. young man. We all know how important the concussion discussion is. So tomorrow on the morning show, Dr. Syed Assad, a neurologist who specializes in traumatic brain injury diagnosis and rehab, will join us live to talk about keeping up, keeping our young athletes playing, while also keeping them safe. That's tomorrow morning at 820.